Hello everyone. In this session, we will learn about Selenium RC, which is Selenium Remote Control. In previous session, we have discussed about Selenium architecture, where we have seen Selenium IDE in a practical example and Selenium RC we are going to see now. So as per this architecture, you might have observed that Selenium RC and Selenium web driver is merged into and form a Selenium different versions like V2, V3, V4. So Selenium RC is nothing but a version 1. So before this web driver existing into market, Selenium RC is a Selenium version 1. Coming back, Selenium remote control is a Selenium version 1. That's the important point that you have to remember. From version 2, it's a web driver. Selenium RC components, you have to know what is what are Selenium RC components. This is very helpful in uh, interview point of view. So there are a uh, disadvantage as well. That's the reason they merged WebDriver and RC and they formed a different uh, versions of Selenium, which makes more comfortable for automation testers. Now coming to this architecture, these are the three components of uh, Selenium RC. The first most thing is your script this selenium rc supports different languages like java ruby python perl php c sharp anything so this script is the main part this script will communicate with the remote control server which is nothing but a selenium server which we will see where it exists and how to download and run those in fact when your program runs it will start communicating with the remote uh, server and then it sends a HTTP uh, protocol and sends a request to your browsers and even the Selenium RC is compatible with different browsers if you might see here IE browser, Firefox browser, Safari browsers like that and each and every browser has its own component that will be running by remote uh, control server and you might have seen here two things again in for each browser one is selenium core and other one is application under test so the flow is whenever your script runs the remote control server communicates starts communicating or starts sending commands to the browser and browser will launch a command prompt which runs some selenium core uh, packages and then this application under test is nothing but the application or web application which you are planning to test or which you are trying to test. The launching of the browser, clicking on different uh, text boxes, typing something, clicking on buttons, all these will be done in this application under test. That way, if you want to execute your test, it's compulsory that you have to run your Selenium server, that is Selenium RC. That is the most disadvantage of this. So I'll draw, enlarge this. You can see the architecture. So if you if you are asked to draw an architecture of Selenium RC in interviews, you have to point out uh, this architecture. Script, remote control server, which is nothing but a Selenium server, and the browsers, again, which has a Selenium core and ap application under test. Now, coming to practical, we will see where this Selenium RC server is, and I'll show you an example. Selenium, go to seleniumhq.org and go to downloads and you will see a Selenium server, right? So this is the Selenium server. Earlier it is called an RC. Okay, now it's called a Selenium server. Okay, and you can see a Selenium client as well and Selenium IDE which we downloaded. Okay, and different third party drivers and all those okay now let's download the selenium server so this is the old technology i mean old model of rc we are no more using selenium rc but it's just better to have an idea from where this web driver came in selenium now what the present which we are using is a web driver version 4 so it is evolving uh, on daily or on yearly basis and before uh, it was an RC. Okay, so let me, it's downloaded. Let me go to this folder. Let 
me go to downloads okay <clears throat> let me copy this uh, into some selenium i'll call it as sorry selenium jars and i'll paste it here so if you want to run your test cases and if you want to program or if you want to write any script you have to run this selenium driver sorry selenium server and then run this okay so i'll open my command prompt okay this is simple jar file if you see the extension right click properties you can see it's a dot jar extension okay now i'll call java hyphen jar and i'm going to copy the path of this folder complete path and i'm going to give here and slash i'm going to give this file name this is a jar name dot jar and hyphen you have to provide a port number as well so i'll tell you what is this port number and about port four 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 just give any port number okay unable to access okay this is because uh, i have some naming convention okay let me do let me i'll keep jars here okay let me run new command prompt i'll run as administrator okay java hyphen jar and take this path and take this file name dot jar and port okay see now your selenium server is running and you can see selenium server is up and running on port 4444 so allow access okay now your selenium server is up and running now you can run your programs in a selenium using the selenium server without launching this you cannot run your programs that's the disadvantage of selenium rc then again the market evolved into bringing up the web driver and then they improvised the versions adding some dependencies packages and everything and then that's how the improvisation came now coming back to this port number generally if you run any server it should run on any port right so here if you observe this architecture this whenever you script this whenever your script is run it will start uh, triggering the remote server and using this port number this server is accessed without port number you cannot access it's simply like uh, a door to your house okay a gate to a company kind of so using that gate or using that door or using a pin atm pin something like that if you take an example using that pin only you can access your money or you can access your data right so that's how this port uh, is uh, related to okay so this is just a overview of selenium rc how it is evolved and what are the disadvantages and all those so we are not going to see any practical example as we are not using selenium rc now but when time permits we will see some sample examples of rc but not too deep we will be concentrating on selenium web driver which is the latest in the market and then uh, we will take it from there and you can uh, improvise your uh, lab sessions in Serena web driver. Okay, that's all for now and we'll meet in the next session. Thank you and have a nice day.